This is Sam who says, in Exodus, God gave Moses the Ten Commandments, and the Seventh Commandment is, Thou shalt not commit adultery. But men continued to have more than one wife until the end of the Old Testament. My question is, would that still technically be adultery? Um, it wasn't. They were marrying these women, and uh, they had multiple wives. The kings did, and others did. They had, David had several wives. Um, so that was certainly after Moses had written. And that wasn't considered adultery, which means one of these days, trust me, the laws concerning polygamy are going to be taken out because the only reason they have laws for against polygamy is because it is said it is unbiblical and it is not Christian and therefore they shouldn't do it. Mm. And so if, if you can have all the other things that the Supreme Court has ruled on, believe me, they're going to say that it's unconstitutional to forbid polygamy. We look at the New Testament, which says a man should have one wife and be content with one wife rather than multiple wives. It's in the New Testament. But that wasn't adultery because they were married. They got married. They, they, I mean, the man looked after the wives. They were his wives. And, and he, he had a covenant relationship with all of them. That's in the book. All right.